the PAP attack. Dynamic equilibrium was one of those concepts most of us learned to reduce to a formula in chemistry class. The proof formula was far too complicated to explain the simple idea that there's a state of balance somewhere between equal opposing forces. I learned enough about the concept to recognize that the GOP has found equilibrium. In fact, they were able to package it in the form of Sarah Palin. Seven in ten Republicans say they'd vote for Sarah even though less than 30 percent of all American voters polled said she was qualified to be president. The good news for Republicans is that they finally found their true voice in Sarah Palin. Since their defeat in 2008, they've been trying to arrive at a state of balance. Pundits on all sides were asking, who are the Republicans? What best represents the face of the GOP? Anybody asking those questions should feel a sense of relief because Sarah Palin is telling us, look no further, it are I. But what does it take to arrive at a place of perfect balance? What are the opposing forces that produce that perfect equilibrium personified by Sarah? The first step is for the party to ignore the GOP old guard strategist who helped elect Ronald Reagan and both of the Bushes. When Republican veteran strategist like Mike Murphy tells the GOP leadership that Palin is, quote, a political train wreck in the works and that she's a stone cold loser, well, don't overreact, even though Murphy has consistently won for the GOP. Balance that criticism with the obvious. She's on the cover of Time magazine. Thousands of Republicans are showing up for her book signings. Her new repackaged media launch has been described as a Palin Palooza event that places her in the position of the Republicans' next best hope. Even though the opposing Republican forces pushing the party towards equilibrium have shameless criticism about their own party's new voice, never miss the point that Sarah is the most vocal and visible Republican in the nation. When uber-Republican and conservative columnist David Brooks calls Sarah a joke, as he puts it, recognize that that opposing voice is balanced out. Sarah is, after all, the new voice of the Tea Party arm of the GOP. That group tells us that they're going to dominate American politics by 2012. Disgraceful commentary and criticism by conservative voices like Kathleen Parker, Karl Rove, and Meghan McCain haven't been able to overcome the opposing force of Sarah's celebrity. Americans love celebrities. That new place of equilibrium that the GOP has been able to find is driven by the party's belief that America is ready for a helicopter hunting, moose skinning, almost governor, beauty queen celebrity to sit in the Oval Office. In fact, they believe that it was a mistake for the two candidates who just won the governorship of Virginia and New Jersey to tell Sarah to stay away from their state campaigns. They apparently didn't get the memo explaining that their party had finally reached the true political balance that they were looking for. They probably didn't recognize that after months of pushback from two opposing sides within their own party, Sarah represents the very best that the GOP has to offer. It looks like Sarah's going to be the 2012 candidate for the GOP, and we should all take comfort in that. The PAP Attack on Air America Radio Network.